Yeah, so how to use standard controller in Apex? We already have the standard controller and we already have the opportunity object. So we want to use the Apex page block section. Have it in mind that Apex page have a different kind of uh, command like we have close to 106 commands well i just want to show you how to use output command output field command with the standard controller you can use different you can use different um standard control you can use different objects you can use the opportunity you can use the account you can use the contact you can even use the custom object that you created so we have the apex page block and uh, we have the title which is general info general info you can use any title based on what you are trying to build and we also have apex block page block section also add the title for this one as well So I'm going to be adding um, a title here. You know, sometimes it is very hard when you, when you are training people, when you are trying to teach people how to do this. Stuff. I don't know the title to use. I guess we just have to figure it out. So I'm going to write um, output field since it's, since I'm working on the output output field here. Command. Like I said, you can use any out, you can use any title you want based on what you are working on, what you are building. So I'm going to be putting the output feed command. And uh, this output feed command has only one, uh, has both open and close tag. In the same place, unlike the apex, apex, apex page that has the opening tag at the top and opening tag at the bottom, this one is in one place. So the value now is uh, the field we want to put, we want to call, we want to bring from the database. So we want to bring the field from the form, Salesforce form. So let me open the opportunity record see which field I can use so I'm going to be using the name I'm going to be using the close date I'm going to be using the page I'm going to be using the amount so let's go back to our developer console so also know that when, when you are calling uh, a field from Salesforce org. You have to use the calling brackets. The exclamation mark. So opportunity dot name. You got the opportunity name. Do the same thing for the amount, the stage, and the close. date in the next video i'm going to be teaching you how to create how to also bring out the related list for an opportunity it may be the case it may be any related list how you can use the related list tag to call to to bring out the data from the hog so we have the amount opportunity does amount uh, we have the opportunity close the so remember if you are using them um, if you are using the custom objects you created using the api name 
for the standard controller and uh, for the field as well you'll be using the api name these are the api names for this record opportunity so you have opportunity stage opportunity stage So we have an error message and the reason why we have an error message is because we use the wrong api name opportunity stage is not the api name for the opportunity stage it is opportunity stage name so we have to change it from opportunity stage to opportunity stage name as the API name for opportunity stage. So once we do that, the error is cleared out. Voila. So now that we don't have any error, let's save it. We've saved it already and uh, just have to preview it to see everything we've created. So you click on the preview, it's going to open a new tab for you. tab is open and as you can see we have our visual post, visual force page created and see it's taking the color of the opportunity record taking the color of the opportunity record this is a classic view this is a classic view if you want to create the lightning view you have to use the lightning web component but for now we are using the using visual force page so for us to get the record for us to get so we open the record we copy the record id because we are using we are using output feed so we are supposed to be getting the record we are supposed to be getting the values of uh, the record so we are going to add the id to wherever your your page starts from so from the question mark so you write id equals the record the record id you copied and voila we have the the record and uh, we can as well change the column size of that page and you refresh it you see this is just the basic basic uh, basic uh, this is just a basic form of uh, visual force page so we have different tags, we have different commands that you can use to understand more of this on the first page. So we change the color to one and this is what we get. We get everything in, the, in one column. So we are going to put back the ID so that we can see the value. 